I'm Bianca Renee, and you're watching Bianca Renee today. And today is Foundation Friday, so I have another amazing foundation to review for you guys. Today, I will be reviewing the Becca Ultimate Full Coverage Foundation. I have a confession. I have used this before. This was a foundation that I was going to Sephora and getting like multiple samples of, but I finally have the full size bottle to review for you guys. So the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation is a very thick foundation that's great for covering any imperfections, scars, and acne, which is just what I happen to have today. So this is the perfect time for me to try it. When you buy this foundation, it does come in a little sleek box like this, and then when you open it up, it has this very thin, high-end looking bottle with the silver top. It does have a pump, which you know is my favorite way to dispense foundation, especially if it's something that's full coverage and as thick, as creamy as this one. This bottle is one fluid ounce, just like the rest of the foundations I review, and it's $44 sold at Sephora or Ulta. One of my favorite things about the Becca Ultimate Coverage Foundation is that it has 20 different colors to choose from, and it really separated it very nicely by your skin tone. If you look at this picture here, you see that they broke it up by like four different skin tones, meaning like very pale, tan, brown, and dark. And it has five shades per color, which I think is very fair. I personally love when a foundation doesn't just have like 20 different pale shades and like four darker shades to choose from. So they really split it up evenly, giving everybody five choices. The color I'll be using today is actually called Tobacco. And I was just about to say that I don't like the name tobacco for obvious reasons but now that i just went on the website i noticed that they changed the name tobacco to maple so that was a very smart move whoever decided to do that i much rather say that i'm the color maple than tobacco so without further ado let me show you exactly how i applied my makeup Let's get started on this face. I already have on my moisturizer, but before I put on my foundation, I'm going to keep it in the Becca family and use the Becca primer. If you have oily skin, this primer is insane. This is the Becca Ever Matte Poreless Prime Perfector. Ever matte, meaning ever so matte your skin will be. The Ever Matte Becca Primer is very intense. It will literally suck all of the oil out of your skin, keeping you matte for a very long time. I've used this before, so I know that it works. You're just gonna apply like a pea size amount to only your problem areas. That would be my T-zone for me, and right around here, and maybe a little bit on my chin. So I'm just gonna put a little bit. Literally, there's my little pea size. Gonna warm it up in the hands, or the fingers rather, and I'm just going to put it right where I know I get oily. You will also notice that the stuff dries really fast. So you kind of got to, you got to move. You got to move quickly, but it'll all be worth it when applied correctly. Using a damp beauty blender, I am going to grab my foundation. It has a little pump, which you guys know that I like, and I'm going to pump it right onto the beauty blender. It is a very thick and heavy cream, which is always a good sign when you really want that full coverage. So let's go ahead and apply this to my little breakout that's happening over here and cover it up. Ooh, nice. Yes. Really full coverage. This is exactly what I needed right about now. Ooh, even the dark circles. Yes. Make them all disappear. That little dollop got about this much of my face. I mean, I'm going to apply a little bit more for the other side. This full coverage foundation is definitely full coverage. It covered all of my little dark spots and flaws all over my face. So this is just step one. I haven't even gotten the concealer and powder and highlight and contour, all that good stuff. But this is a very, very good start. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put on the rest of my makeup. Much better. So now that my full face is complete, I have on the Becca primer, I have the Becca foundation, and I even slapped on a little bit of the Becca highlight, which is definitely my new favorite makeup item that I recently got. Just an FYI, this is the Becca opal highlight. Loving it. But back to the foundation. 
I love how my makeup looks right now. It is definitely very full coverage. My skin is looking flawless. I think it's a perfect color match for my skin. And I'm just overall really happy with the results. So now I have to hope and pray that it will last me throughout the day. That is the biggest test that I do on my channel on every Foundation Friday. I put it on and then I wear it for as many hours as possible and I see how long this foundation will actually last on oily skin. So it is currently 12 p.m. noon. I will come back at the end of the day and we'll see how well this foundation does. And I'm back. It is now 9 p.m. So I've had on this makeup for nine hours. And I must say, I think I look pretty darn fabulous. I am a little shiny just because it is such full coverage. It does raise a little bit. It is like 100 degrees outside, but for the circumstances of nine hours full coverage in heat, I think my foundation looks amazing. But now it's time for me to use my Clean and Clear Oil Absorbing Sheets. You can use any brand you want. I just use an oil absorbing sheet in all of my foundation reviews to remove the oil from my face. So let's do this. I just realized that my nail color is blotting sheet blue. <laughs> About to go to the nail salon, I'm like, can I get that blotting sheet blue, please? <laughs> so here is all the oil that came off of my skin. Not too bad, not a full sheet of oil, and I still am very full coverage. It did not take off really any of the actual makeup, just took out the oil like it was supposed to, and my skin still looks really good. What do you guys think? Leave me a comment below on your thoughts of the finished result after nine hours of wear. Overall, I definitely recommend the Becca Ultimate Coverage Complexion Cream. I think it is great for getting full coverage. It works well on oily skin and it will last you all day, especially mixed with the Becca Ever Matte Primer. These two together are besties. If you want to be the first to know about all the different foundations and hair products I will be reviewing on Fridays and Sundays, make sure you follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat at Ms. Bianca Renee. You also can hit that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss any more of my videos. I'll see you guys in my next video on Sunday. Don't miss out. Thanks for watching Bianca Renee today.